Welcome to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Oakland Travel, and it is the Carnival Mardi Gras. We are standing on deck 18 on the starboard side of the ship. Um, I don't know if I pan the camera around or not, but we're right above the Lido deck and the pool area and everything. This is one of the highest parts of the ship. And uh, because we're heading out to the open ocean from San Juan, Puerto Rico, it's one of the best places on the starboard side to kind of view the beautiful scenery in February of 2022 as the ship is uh, heading out into the Atlantic. So we had a great day in San Juan, did a walking excursion from the ship up to the other fort, which uh, the name is escaping me at the moment. But the one you see right here in the foreground is El Moro and have not been to that one yet. Um, that one, hopefully we would get a chance to visit on a future cruise that stops in San Juan. Um, looks really cool. Uh, it's just that it's because of the distance of where it's at from where the cruise ships come in. Uh, you can't really do a walking excursion. It's a little too far away. You'd have to do like a taxi or Uber or something to get over there. So when we did uh, this cruise right here, we decided to do just a walking excursion to the other fort. So uh, El Moro is still on my list, but um, excellent uh, cruise overall on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Our first time with Carnival, never done anything with them. Carnival Mardi Gras in 2022, especially early 2022, was still a relatively new ship uh, going out of Port Canaveral, Florida. So very, very crowded, as you might imagine. Uh, it's the new XL class from Carnival. And then on top of that, it happened to be the week of Super Bowl, which was really cool. It was a Saturday to Saturday cruise and Super Bowl was is always, of course, on a Sunday. So day two of the cruise was the Super Bowl. <laughs> And that was pretty interesting. I've never, uh, I've never watched a Super Bowl game uh, from a cruise ship before, and it was really cool on the Carnival Mardi Gras because uh, the center stage area down on deck six, uh, they take all of the screens and turn it into a gigantic TV, you know, kind of setup with the LED panels and everything. Ah, there's deck 16. See the uh, Lido deck down there and the pool and everything. And so you get a chance to watch the Super Bowl game down on deck six in the, sen in the center stage area up on those massive screens and plenty of seating down there and you've got bars all around to you know, keep that uh, flow of alcohol going. Or, speaking of Lido, you could come up here to the Lido deck on 16 and watch the game on the big pool by the, by the, uh, the big screen by the pool, which we actually did that. We watched the first half of, this, of the game uh, down on, you know, at the, uh, at, uh, deck six down there center stage went and had dinner in the uh was it cappuccino uh, cucuccina del capitano and then we uh came up to lido and watched the second half of the game or most of the second half of the game up by the pool uh right outside the red frog tiki bar and that was pretty neat uh kind of a just an interesting and different way to watch the super bowl on the carnival mardi gras so here you see uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, as we sail off into the Atlantic. And I believe the next stop after this one on this cruise was gonna be over in Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic. That was an interesting experience because we did a, uh, a huge uh, shore excursion where we got in one of these big like military trucks or something and went all over the island. And so uh, gonna have some very interesting video from that. I'm probably gonna take that entire excursion maybe and put it together as one video because we recorded a lot of footage as we went all over the Dominican Republic on that excursion. But that one is coming up next in the series of uh, vlog episodes once we get over to that port. But we recorded an awful lot uh, in between that and this right here. 